Hello, I'm Robert. Uh, during COVID, I got a new hobby to order science and historic uh, items on the net. And this one, I think, is a, really a goodie. Ordered from Greece. It's a reproduction of uh, ancient artifact. So I've just got to open it. It says that the package is damaged, so I'll see if the item itself is damaged also. And there's a box inside the box. So there's some extras here. There's a book about uh, Greek technology, Greek inventions. They did actually make a lot of technical uh, items more than 2,000 years ago. So it's not unheard of. And Wheels mounted on uh, a photo of the uh, Antiquitera mechanism. Okay. It comes. This is a reproduction of the Antiquitera mechanism. Uh, it was found by divers. Uh, near a um, Greek island about 120 years ago and uh, it was a ship shipwreck where they had a lot of different items and they saw some uh, thing that looks like mechanism or some cog wheels and they were studying it, it uh, closer they saw that there was a lot of cog wheels different uh, size uh, and and uh, x-raying it they found that it was actually 37 bronze gears and uh, they also found parts of uh, uh, bronze displays where you had uh, Greek text that gave some idea about what it was meant for so they have been trying to uh, recreate the, uh, the mechanism called Antiquitera mechanism and uh, uh, from other items on the boat they uh, dated it to before the uh, beginning of, of uh, uh, about 2100 years ago so uh, many thought that this was way too to uh, advance to be all the way back then, from all the way back then. And there's a lot of strange theories and strange uh, information about what this, this was and was, what, how this was made, but it's actually not that strange that they had made this. Cog wheels were known, and all the, what they're showing here is also known. Uh, they recreated this place uh, here. Um, let's see if I had it. Had it upside down. Yes, that's correct. You have the uh, what looks like a very complicated calendar here. It's the uh, metonic cycle, and. Uh, that shows where the lunar phase uh, appears uh, and uh, the different lunar phase during the year. And after a period of about 19 years, the 
they uh, appear at the same date. So this is a 19 years cycle. And uh, you have the Olympia, it says here. That's a four year cycle. Also. And on the bottom, that is the uh, Saros cycle. And that was known from the Babylonians. Uh, and that's a cycle of nearly 18 years that gives the dates of the uh, solar eclipses. So they could predict when the solar eclipses may occur from uh, using this and what kind of solar eclipses. And uh, the period is. Uh, uh, not an exactly number of years, it's a uh, number of dates, it's uh, an, a third date day, so this, there's actually a clock here for when in the day the different, when during the day the different eclipses uh, would occur, because they would move eight hours after the, after the cycle of nearly eight, 18 years, or oh, a bit more than 18 years, they would move eight hours, and you see where they was, that's the, the uh, clock there and this should be movable because it's not here yeah, so it's a simplified version and uh, it should be movable to to adjust for the uh, for the leap years it should be moved one day each uh, year I think that's what they thought it was on the original uh, device so it's really simplified and here you have uh, oh. I have to be careful that it doesn't get to the end of these cycles because then I will bend something the mechanism is not working very well here to supposed to be rotating the Sun and the uh, moon here to show the moon face but that's not really working so this is I guess that the Greeks would make this of better quality and uh, so this was actually a simplified version of the uh, one of the interpretations of the uh, Antiquitera mechanism because uh, Roman politician uh, Cicero he actually mentioned this uh, mechanism in he, he said that there were it would indicate the position of the, the five known uh, planets they have then and uh, many believe that there was some kind of mechanism on top of here that would show uh, where the position of the different planets, the, the five planets were, and what's impressive with, you know, some have made the the uh, model, and what's impressive is that it's you have retro retrograde movement, so it goes back and forth the, the movement of the uh, the uh, uh, planets relative. When you see it from the the, the the Earth, it looks like they go back and forth. Of course, if you look at it from the Sun, it was just going in circles. That's very impressive to have that with uh, me mechanics, and many believe that it was uh, part of a mechanism that was on the outside and that, that was lost. And uh, let's see how many cogwheels there are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, there is about 20 cogwheels here. There should be 37 that's uh, that's uh, identified. So there are no, some cogwheels that are not put in, put into this uh, mechanism here, and they may be from the. Uh, uh, Planet part that was outside of the uh, the uh, this mechanism. Oh. 
this is really not bit for speed and I see that no, this is really badly attached because there's only one connection through here and just makes everything rotate and the grips would make it much better than this uh, so this is like a museum sample that is supposed to be standing still and not be used for movement it seems and uh, what this is not it's not a clock some call this a clock because there's no mechanism making it go by itself and, and uh, they are only the dates here not the hours so it's not really a clock and it's not a navigation device because there's nothing here saying that you would have something at a certain angle at a certain time there's, there's nothing like that so this, this is just predicting and controlling the, the, the length of the months and the leap years here and, and uh, solstices uh, Yes, that's the uh, antiquitarian mechanism.